Before we start, I have to let you know that somebody is watching this um, YouTube live stream. She's called Marta, and she says, I live in Zaragoza in Spain, where the town of the Trovatore is located. Where have you located your production? That's always a good question. Where do you locate such a story? It's always, it always leads to the question, is it a traditional, is it a modern production or so? Do you try to, 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 to stick to the rules of the opera? And I think you have to try. It's a big task to find, uh, to find a setting or um, I would like to say to find an atmosphere where, where um, the emotions, the melodramatic story and the, where the characters uh, uh, can come to life. You have to create a world where this can, can happen and where the, all what the music tells is also um, not visible, but you can feel it in the, in, the, in the stage and in the world. How much is your opera directing informed by your work in theatre? Now it's like 50-50. Like I started as theatre director, uh, did a lot of Shakespeare and, and modern, modern plays. And, and, uh, and, and in 2009, I, I did my first opera in Munich, Elysia d'Amore. Uh, before I did it, I was really, should I do it? Because uh, such a masterpiece and uh, maybe I should make a very small opera first to get to know and blah, blah. And, and uh, I talked to, to this with a very very famous uh, old director who's like a mentor to me. Uh, he has a bird and uh, he smokes a lot of cigarettes, so he's a real director. Um, <laughs> and, and he said, yeah, uh, I think you shouldn't do it. And I said, ah, OK, I don't have to do it. Ah, very good. And he said, no, because when you, when you start to do it, you will always do it again. You, you, then it will be very hard going back just to theater, because you have the music, you have this very different world. You have this international world where you meet so many interesting people which know so much about different, different things. And um, so um, if you do it, you uh, have to take care that you still stay in theatre director as well. And, and for me it's very interesting because actors are much more divas than opera singers. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, really, really. Huh. It's really the, Why it's, do you think that is? I, I, I think it's a little bit... Um, I always think opera is, is both. It's, it's, uh, or for, for singers it's art and it's also sport. And they have, of course, they know how to sing the role. They, they can sing it and when they are on, 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 on Royal Opera House, they, they know that they sing, uh, sing it on a very, very, very extreme high level. And so they are not, they are, um, they are not so dependent on the director. Should it be, should it be, uh, should it be emotional? Should it be like just natural? Should it be, should it be uh, expressive? Should it, should you, there are so many things you don't know as an, as an actor, so you're really dependent on so many things. So you have much more fear, I think, uh, uh, and also, in a way, much more fear to, to show your emotions. In German theatre, it's sometimes very difficult because it's uh, sometimes too intellectual for my mind, for my, my opinion. And uh, so you have a lot of to discuss. And when you say, OK, and now it's just this emotion, and you have to open your, 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 sh your shirt, and then, no, but why do I have to open my shirt? <laughs> and, uh, and with an opera saying, it's very easy. Yeah, go to the knees. And of course, he's already on the knees. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, for one, cannot wait for this production of Trovatore. David Vosch, thank you so much. Thank you very much.